Hey guys, it's Julie. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be showing you what's on my iPad and how I use it as a pre-medical college student. So underneath my case, I have a beautiful rose gold iPad Air 3. Although I really do love this color, I was also really into the space gray iPad. I believe at the time I wanted to buy the iPad, the space gray one was actually out of stock. But regardless, my case covers the entire back of the iPad anyways so I wouldn't be able to see much of the color. I really wanted everything that I needed to be on a single page for simplicity and easy navigation, so I mainly organized my apps with label folders. On top of my screen is the paper-like screen protector. It really helps enhance my whole writing experience, all the while maintaining the quality of the display. You can definitely feel the difference when writing with and without the screen as there's more grit and resistance to make it feel like you're actually writing on paper. Not to mention it gives major ASMR vibes every time I write on it. My screensaver is a picture I downloaded off of Pinterest. I change it every now and then, but I love how simple and minimalistic this white and black themed screensaver looks every time I open my iPad. To write, I have the first generation Apple Pencil to go along with my iPad Air. I believe my iPad is only compatible with the first generation Apple Pencil, but it looks very sleek, gets the job done, and I love it so much. To start off, I have my most used apps on the bottom panel right here. These apps include the Safari browser, my Google Calendar, Mail, iMessage, FaceTime, Notes, and Setting apps. I won't go over apps like the Calendar app and the App Store because these are pretty self-explanatory. So my first folder is for all of the apps that I use for school. Um, the Files app is super useful since I use the same iCloud account across all of my Apple devices. I have everything and anything that I work on my iPad, phone, or laptop saved onto here. Then I have all of the Microsoft apps like Word and Excel, as well as the comparative Google apps like Docs, Sheets, and Slides. My next folder consists of apps that I also use for educational purposes, but are more for online learning, classes, and meetings. Zoom is definitely my most used app for this school year. Then I have a super interesting app called iFont that I use to download a vast array of different font styles. You can see a font preview on the right hand side of the screen which is super helpful and it's free and I really highly recommend it. Next is my lifestyle folder. I honestly keep the majority of the default apps in here like Kino, Pages, Books, News, The Clock app. It might be a bit random of a folder but it's nice to have everything categorized into a labeled folder. I personally find it really helpful to have this lifestyle folder to have all of these apps compiled into one space. Then we have the entertainment folder for broadcasting, streaming, and music apps that I own as well as my Amazon and Pinterest app. I have a student subscription with Spotify where I pay $4.99 a month for both Spotify and Hulu. This is my very long playlist of some of my favorite songs. I also like listening to various lo-fi playlists for when I'm studying as well as um, different podcasts. On Hulu, I watch different shows like Grey's Anatomy and Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I definitely don't have the most premium plan, so there are a couple of shows on here that I can't watch unless I decide to pay more monthly, but I just can't get myself to do that just yet. On Netflix, I love watching different rom-coms, throwback movies, and certain K-dramas. Crash Landing on You was so good. I highly recommend it. I also loved It's Okay Not To Be Okay and uh, The Eternal Monarch. I also loved Startup and currently I'm watching Vincenzo. I also watched Bridgerton over my winter break and I loved it, highly recommend that show as well, but um, overall you have a lot of options here. I also use Vicky sometimes to watch K-dramas, but um, 
moving on to Amazon, one of the most dangerous places to browse on late at night, especially with prime shipping and convenience. It's so hard not to spend hours just browsing to see what Amazon has to offer. Last but not least, we have Pinterest. I love going on here to get makeup inspo, nail and hair inspo, but also fashion inspo. I definitely have a board for everything, nails, makeup, home decor. Um, But overall, it's a great place to go to to get some inspiration and ideas when you're feeling under the weather or feeling um, uninspired. Crunchyroll is the app I use to watch animes. By animes, I mean Attack on Titan, of course. I got really excited here because I didn't realize that there was a new episode out, but it's a great streaming app if you're into watching animes. For my photography folder, it's pretty self-explanatory. I use the Canva app to make posters and flyers for some of the clubs that I'm involved in at school. I also use Fonto and Pixar a lot because they're free, very user-friendly, so I use these two apps a lot to make uh, thumbnails for my videos. And I, of course, love watching YouTube videos during my free time. You can see by the videos that pop up who some of my favorite YouTubers are, um, like Emma, Alexandra, Jen, um, Maddie Mae Sasky, and also, shameless plug, me. If you haven't watched my other videos, please do so because it would mean the absolute world to me. Next, we have Procreate. I do believe you have to pay about five to ten dollars to get this app from the app store, but it's totally worth it. I use it to customize some of my thumbnails in ways that Fonto and PixArt can't. I also use it for graphics for my videos, class assignments, and to make graphics for social media pages of the clubs that I'm involved in. There's just so much to do and so many ways to customize your digital graphics and art, and I can't say enough things about Procreate. Notion is a great organizational and note-taking app. I use it for any of my classes that are very lecture heavy and it's great because as long as you have the app, you can go on and look at all of your documents associated with your Notion account. Um, You can create pages within tabs, insert photos, highlight, and change the color of text. There's also this amazing word search function that searches your keyword across all of your documents. So it's super easy to navigate things in this app. Next is going to be GoodNotes. So I mainly use GoodNotes to make my study guides for exams. I'm someone who learns from making their study guides. So it really helps to write out key concepts and pay attention to the material this way. Um, I'll go into detail what I tend to use Notability for versus this app. However, I feel like there's just more ways to personalize your notes in GoodNotes. It's super easy to insert diagrams and other visual aids to supplement your course material. You can also utilize the search keywords option on here that can recognize both typed text and handwritten text, which is a super convenient feature um, on this app. Lastly, we have Notability. I feel like it's personal preference as to whether or not you want to use both or just one of the apps. Um, Good notes and Notability, I mean. But I use both for different reasons. Notability is very convenient to import and export PDFs. So I like to use this app to view and annotate different uh, readings for my classes. I also use it for grading as a TA because I can write on the lab reports and provide feedback to the students this way. Um, and if I ever need to export anything, I can do so by airdropping the documents that I want to my laptop, which is super convenient. This is also the place where I upload and organize my syllabi for the courses that I'm taking. 
I hope you guys found this video useful and um, I hope it's helpful for those of you who are deciding whether or not you should invest in an iPad. If there's any apps you'd like me to do a more in-depth video on to show you more closely how to use it, I can definitely do that. Um, but I hope you're all staying safe and happy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Annyeong! You never feel the way